Can you hear me at the back? No. no. Can you see me at the front? <laughs> I'd like to start off by uh, thanking Steve Godfrey for uh, inviting me to come in and uh, talk, talk to him. <laughs> Excuse me, could you lift your mic up a little bit? We can't hear you. Cleverest. 
Okay, you want to just step into the, uh, to the middle for a second? Okay. So, let's kick off by talking about our first participant in the realm of climate change. Well, that, of course, would be the accountants. Can we have a quick boo for the accountants? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> of course, this is our accountant, of course, who is, of course, paying attention to everything that's happening during the course of this. Keeping control of everything that's going on. Okay, so the next group of participants in the speech is our engineer. So a big cheer for the engineer. The engineer is the, the cleverest person in the room. He's the guy that's resolving all these issues that we talked about earlier on. Pretty much everything that uh, um, we talked about in Andrew's slides, really. So, for the next 20 minutes of my presentation, if I could just ask our little really volunteer to just start with the, the lowest cost, cheapest, most accurate, reliable, most efficient, um, tax efficient uh, methods of saving energy and carbon. Um, we could start now. Sorry, what's that? <laughs> Sorry, our, our accountant says that we haven't actually got any money to do these things. It's a good job you didn't think of it. We're going to have a quick round of applause for our first two volunteers. <laughs> Okay, so we're moving now to the opposite side of the negotiating <coughs> regime, and we're talking to the crack government negotiating team. These are the guys at AEA, another boo. <laughs> boo the guys at AEA. These are, the, these are the guys that uh, um, Andrew's been negotiating with our, our climate change agreements. I hope there's nobody from AEA here. As you can see, they're a, they're a fun filled lot at uh, AEA, <laughs> a, 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 swinging the old of the best uh, booze there in that presentation. So, if I could just ask you to uh, <coughs> drop the scarf around our volunteers' uh, head there. See, you can have these eyes if you can. AEA, <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty typical, isn't it? Yeah, I'll give it a good tie so you can see what he's doing. Well, I'm going to step in and uh, do this for you. You'll have to, you'll have to go again. <laughs> okay, so we've got the, the, a, the guys from AEA here. So we definitely can't see anything that's going on, so now we know he's AEA. And they are swinging away with the, the moon and the look and that one of the expenses. Okay, so this is actually what's going on behind the scenes at the AEA. Come on, let's move into the, into the middle there. You've got to, <laughs> this is actually what's going on back at, uh, at headquarters at Harwell and what's going on with the AEA crack negotiating team, the opposite side of the fence to what Andrew's been uh, talking about. And I'd like to welcome you now to the first round of the CCA <laughs> negotiating team. So, um, there we go. If you just spin our uh, volunteer around so he's uh, facing the board. And uh, we'll have a have got the, uh, the first uh, first dart. This is the heavy clay uh, sector. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we just keep like at this target in the middle? So we've got a we've got coming out for the heavy clay sector. Yeah. Uh, so what's the one percent well done Andrew? Yeah, we'll have to give that one to the steel sector, I think we'll give that one at twenty percent. And a 10% there, we'll give that one to Blast there, 10% there with it. If it misses completely, I think we'll take that one for Fletton, well done. Any <laughs> <laughs> more darts left? No, no, no it's it's gone. Absolutely fantastic. Well done, gents. The big round of applause. <laughs> Exactly what goes on <laughs> every year. They don't drink a single pot. <laughs> okay, but if anybody is of any doubt, they're uh, all warming. Um, let's talk to them. Let's all be warm. It's an hour out. So yours is like that, 
So, um, as I said, that's that's. Uh, I wanted to be, to give something a little bit more of a light out to look at negotiations because, uh, in all seriousness, it has been a very difficult <coughs> uh, um, process for Andrew to manage as we've got to this stage in the negotiation. I think Andrew gave a very good uh, summary of the technologies and the type of technology and the way that we need we need to look at things. Um, we, we, we are facing some very difficult choices in terms of when we invest, how we invest, even where the money comes from. Um, I've taken the, uh, uh, the, the make of the accountants there, but obviously the accountants are, are the guys that are ultimately making these uh, very difficult uh, decisions. So we'll uh, perhaps leave that there. Um, if I could leave you with, uh, I say, a radio for thought for the day. Uh, does anybody listen to Radio 4 and know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. <laughs> got, got the right <coughs> okay, so. In a time long ago, like the wise, <laughs> old, uh, old, make it a bit more believable, but the wise old people. <laughs> Let's go for a little bit older and a little bit wider. <laughs> We've got our wise old, wise old king, and uh, People were pretty fed up with the, the situation. Things were pretty, pretty bad. Times were bleak, not going well at all. In fact, not unlike the recession that we find ourselves in now. But uh, this king had a, had, a, had a great idea. Um, he wanted to uh, he wanted to have a party. The idea was we'll have a party, and we'll cheer everybody up, and uh, we'll get everybody <coughs> talking to each other again. And, getting on with things as, as they, they used to in the good old days. But, but he had no money. Maybe I was right into the second picture, I don't know. But um, he came up with this idea, and the idea was to put a big pot in the middle of the market square. And the idea was that the, everybody that walked past this pot would chuck a few coins in here and there. And uh, at the end, they would break open the pot. When they broke open the pot, they'd have enough money for a party, a really good party. And all this was on the basis of the fact that the king didn't have any money. Unfortunately, everybody has money worries of their own. And lots of people who were walking past this pot thought, you know what, I'm not going to contribute to this pot. I think other people are going to contribute to this pot, and I think I can get away without contributing to this pot. So they didn't put any money in this pot. Unfortunately, lots of people have the same idea because everybody has got money worries of their own. When they broke it open, the pot was just full of buttons. Not good at all. No party, no fun at all. In fact, the situation got even worse. So I think the moral of the story is, if we can take the moral from the story, I'll try to put an industry slant on this, is if we put nothing in, we get nothing out. Let's take the slides that Andrew and Laura put together at the start, and let's use the positive points from that, and let's take climate change to be an opportunity. Let's use it as an opportunity for cost reduction, for product differentiation. Let's take the opportunities that are out there for uh, responsible sourcing. We can look, look at things uh, along the lines of the, the carbon trust standard to promote our businesses against it. Uh, alternative competition. There are carbon calculator tools out there, um, for example the asphalt sector, the uh, uh, Ministry of Transport now buy asphalt on the basis of carbon alone, we can come up with tools like that. We can look at carbon offsetting, carbon offsetting is a, is a popular option for many, many products. Um, ultimately we need to become more customer focused and we need to educate our customers in the needs and the wants that we think they should have direct them towards our products. Our next talker, speaker in fact, will, will, will focus on the total cost of ownership. And I think that's a, an ideal start to uh, progress on to. Uh, I think let's work together for success. Thank you.